Hello again, YouTubers. We're back with the filled water reservoir for the raised bed self irrigating planter. Uh, it's been a been a little bit of a chore to get to this step. I want to take a long time to fill it up. It's uh, got a quite a capacity in the lower section, and um, the end close to the grass right there is much. I wouldn't say much deeper, but it's deeper than the end up there, so it all filled up from down here up. But um, it's holding together quite quite nicely. Um, I've got the plastic laid down, that six mil plastic. I cut a piece. It's a it's a ten foot by twenty five foot. So uh, I cut a piece six feet, and uh, so it's six by ten. So it'll stick out the edge uh, a few inches above the two by four on each side. I also put bricks in there that way once we lay the plywood on top those bricks will hold the center and keep it from caving in. Um, not all of them will probably stand up, some of them will probably slip. You can see it's not a level, truly level surface. And it's got little bumps because of the wood chips so uh, one or two may fall down but most of them are, are good and set firm. Because I put the brick down there, I uh, didn't have all the bricks that I had counted, so I used uh, I got some extra landscaping stones and uh, put uh, one of those in there at the lower end because I actually needed more, needed something larger there anyways because the bricks wouldn't have come all the way up. So uh, I got the landscaping stone and the black plastic in. Uh, you can see all I had to do is just pretty much put the plastic down and start a hose, and the hose worked out all the air and formed it into the shape of the container so uh, everything kind of made itself happen it didn't take much on my end to actually get this formed and then it was just a matter of putting the bricks in and putting the float in you can see I've got the float here um, it is hooked I cut a little slit into the plastic so it is hooked to the plastic through the wood you got a pipe coming in um, See if you can see all the way. Can't see all the way back there. It's not bright enough. But a pipe going to the barbed end of the setup. So uh, that's going to my hose. I just used a little quick connect on the hose. And um, that way I could turn it off and on as I needed to. I've discovered the need for a pressure reducer. Apparently my pressure is too high. And um, what I did is I filled this up with just the garden hose at first. And then once I got most of the way full, I put the float in so that I could kind of gauge how high I wanted it and um, I'll probably do a little bit more tweaking with the height of the water because one of the things that I didn't foresee shouldn't be an issue but I didn't really foresee it is the uh, float sticks up out of the water a little bit so I couldn't have the water come all the way up to the plywood I don't know if I want that anyways but I couldn't have the water come all the way up to the plywood because then the float would be sticking out, the plywood would be resting on the float and it would always stay open. So um, just an unforeseen issue there, but if I keep the water level lower than the, um, the plywood by maybe, I don't know, quarter inch, half inch, then the amount the float sticks up is not going to be significant. So that's the uh, water reservoir. And let me go, also go ahead and show you how I have the holes drilled in my plywood. Basically, it's like a the five the number five side of a dice. If you if you were to cut the board right down the middle, you you do two number fives and then do one in the middle, and that puts about I think a foot foot and a half square, which should be plenty to let the water wick up into the soil. So um, it's. Pretty well set up. Um, then these net cups will um, let me focus it. Just slide on in there. They stick up out a little bit, so uh, I may try and bore some of that out with another drill. But they come through. You now they come in about come out about an inch and a half out, and as long as that's touching the water, the water will wick through the board. So uh, I don't know, I, I may bring a hammer out, a rubber mallet, and just tap them in. You know, try and get them to form as much as possible. But uh, it looks looking pretty good. Um, 
So that, this board will then, I'm just going to sit it right on top of that and probably lay the plastic around the board and up on top of the board and then set those 2 by 6s once I make the frame for the, um, for the soil, I'll probably set those 2 by 6s just right on top of the plywood. Uh, so the, the plastic the plastic will wrap over the plywood, the boards will sit on top of it, so I shouldn't have to use any staples. And then that way, as those wood chips decompose and shrink and compact, the staples aren't going to pull on the plastic. There won't be any staples to pull it. It uh, should kind of come loose from some of that board and it'll have a little slack in the system. So as long as it doesn't come all the way in and just fold into the reservoir and let water out, it should be fine. A quick update before I let you move on to the next stop. I want to let you know how I ended up getting these net pots in. Instead of doing another hole, I did do the, the mallet. Actually, I just took my big old He-Man hammer here, framing hammer I got a while back, and uh, used the blunt end. I just kind of hammered them on on home. It's kind of pl like playing a fun, large, super-sized game of whack-a-mole. But um, they're all pretty much flush now. A lot less extra room. Uh, I took a little finagling. You can see uh, the cups they didn't survive completely intact, but they are still going to do their function. So they're sitting all the way in. I didn't have to buy another $16 drill bit or do a whole lot of extra work. So, um, so that's how the net cups are situated. So I'll be back when uh, got the soil reservoir built.